Now let's look at factor trees and the highest common factor. So let's firstly um, look at our factor trees. So here we have two and four, and that becomes two and two. So we've got two times two times two. Okay. And over here we have two and 10, and then five and two, and we have five by two by two. And then once we have the, the, the two sets of numbers, what we're looking for is the common ones, the common numbers in both. So that's that two there and that two there, okay? So that tells us that the four and the four here is the highest common factor for those two particular numbers. And we could do that for any set of numbers that we choose. So 24 and 56, what's the highest common factor for these two? So first the uh, seven and eight. So I've chosen seven because it's already prime. Okay, and then eight gives us four and two, and this gives us two and two. So we've got two times two times two times seven. Okay, and then over here we can do two and twelve. Okay, again I've chosen two because it's a prime number already, and then I can choose six and two for another prime number, and then three and two. Okay, so we have. 3 times 2 times 2 times 2, okay? And just to show you that where those numbers are, okay, so that's 3, 2, 2, and 2, okay? And 2, 2, 2, and 7. So they're the, they're the numbers that are at the end of each of these stems of this tree. And we can see that those 3 and those 3 match up. So therefore, the highest common factor for 24 and 56.